Yeah. Woo. Uh. Woo. The shit. Hello, you've joined me for part two of designing Xbox 360 controller. So this part, we're going to be washing the controller, and all you want is a tea towel, unless you don't want to get your towel wet, and just a normal hand towel to dry off controller parts. And then I've got earbuds, because like this one is quite dirty, so you want to get all the dirt out. And then some quite warm, soapy water. So, all you got to do is get the pieces, and you want to just put it in there. Try and get all of them in there. I'm going to be painting the sink button, so I'll, I'll break that off once um, this has been cleaned and I'll show you what you're going to do for that. So all you want to do is, you just want to get your trailer nice and wet. And you want to get a cotton bud. And you just want to rub it down. There's people who say to use rubbing alcohol, but it really doesn't matter. You don't need to use latex gloves for this either. It's the cleaning part. I mean the painting part that you want to use latex gloves for. Okay, I've cleaned everything now. So we've got the D-pad, bottom bumper, triggers, start and back, um, bumpers and the other bumper, batch pack, and the two main frames. Now all you want to do is, you put and put the tea towel on, you just want to wrap over one edge, and then bring over the other edge, like that. And once that's on, you just want to press down on them, and just like, move your hands around them. Just so try and get it quite um, dry. Then, I'm going to unravel it again. Then you want to flip everything around the opposite side. I know this inside isn't really painted, but it's still good to do it. So you want to get everything dry. Okay, then you do the same again. Wrap it over. Okay, so once that's done, it still will need an extra uh, long, longer time than drying. So now you just want to give everything a final look at, see if it's all clean. As you can see, that is quite dirty. So you want to just get your cotton bud, dab it in your water again, and you just want to try and try and get all the dirt out of it. Doesn't really matter too much if you've got. You just want to get the most, the big parts out. That should be okay. Okay, so now um, I'll show you how to pop out the sinking button. And it is quite easy. And like, you won't break it because there is like a, a little plastic um, joint there. And all you want to do is take your screwdriver. And you want to push down onto the sink button till it comes out. Now this might fling, so you want to keep your finger behind it. Make sure it doesn't go. See? Simple as that. Straight out, just a simple click, and it's out of there. And all you want to do is, when you've painted it, all you want to do is just put a bit of super glue on there, and it'll be as good as new. So now, that's the end of part two. Yeah. Woo! Uh, woo! That shit! Woo! Yo, hey, this is the...